Welcome to Electron Online. What do we mean when we say reduce a fraction to its lowest terms? What that means is that if both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by the same number, we can reduce the fraction. We can write the fraction in simpler terms with smaller numbers. For example, 10 over 15 or 10 fifteenths. Notice that both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by 5. How do we know that? Well, what we typically do is we go through the sets of numbers that are typically prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7, and we can check to see if it's divisible by the same number by following some rules. For example, a number is divisible by 5 if it ends in a 0 or a 5. 10 ends in a 0, 15 ends in a 5, both those numbers are divisible by 5, so we can write this as 10 divided by 5 divided by 15 divided by 5. And 10 divided by 5 is 2, 15 divided by 5 is 3, so the fraction 10 15 can be reduced to 2 thirds. The next example, 14 divided by 21, we need to recognize that 14 is 2 times 7 and 21 is 3 times 7, which means we can write, we can take 14 and divide it by 7, and we can take 21 and divide it by 7. 14 divided by 7 is 2, 21 divided by 7 is 3. That fraction also reduces to 2 thirds. Here we have 6 divided by 30. Now notice, if we go down the, the line here, we can see that both the numerator and the denominator can be divided by 2. The rule is, if they end in an even number, they're divisible by 2. 6 is an even number, divisible by 2. 30 is an even number, it's divisible by 2. But you can also realize that both 6 and 30 are divisible by 6. Hmm. 6 is what we call the greatest common factor. And so we can write this as 6 divided by 6 and 30 divided by 6. Always remember that you have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the very same number. This can then be written as 1 and 6 goes into 30 5 times or 1 fifth. Sometimes you may not see that. Sometimes you may say, well, I don't quite see that right away. That's okay. What you can do instead is start easy. Start with the number 2. Take the easiest number. Notice that both 6 and 30 are divisible by 2, which means you could write this as 6 divided by 2 and 30 divided by 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Now you look at those two numbers and realize, wow, both the numerator and the denominator are both divisible by the next number here, the number 3. How do I know that? The rule is, if I add the numbers together and they add up to a number that's divisible by 3, the whole number is divisible by 3. Well, 3 is easy, 3 is indeed divisible by 3, but 15, if you add the 1 and the 5 together, that gives you 6, and 6 is divisible by 3, therefore 15 is divisible by 3. This can then be written as 3 divided by 3 and 15 divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and so you get the same answer. You just have to do it in two separate steps. It's preferable that you can see it right away, but if you're not sure, you can always do it one step at a time. That's what we mean by reducing a fraction to its simplest terms. We're looking for the numerator and denominator and look for what number can they both be divided by at the same time, and that's how we reduce these fractions. That's how it's done.